Baseball fans in the fall of 1989 got to witness a huge hit. And I'm not talking about a triple with the bases loaded. It was October 17th, just half an hour before Game 3 of the World Series was set to begin in San Francisco's Candlestick Park. The ground began to move. The television feed flickered, then went out. Then all hell broke loose. When the broadcast resumed several minutes later, the announcers were visibly and literally shaken. The Bay Area just experienced a massive earthquake. Geologists estimate it had a magnitude of 6.9. It caused landslides, walls and buildings collapsed, rubble fell, fire started. The quake's epicenter was in the Santa Cruz Mountains, near Loma Prieta Peak, some 60 miles from San Francisco. Sometimes called the Loma Prieta or San Francisco Oakland earthquake, it's also referred to as the World Series earthquake. It was the first major earthquake in the United States to be broadcast live on TV. The Bay Area hadn't seen a seismic event like that since the great San Francisco earthquake of 1906. That earlier quake, an estimated 8.3 on the Richter scale, nearly destroyed the city. It caused massive fires and killed over 3,000 people. Compared to that, 1989 was a hiccup, but a devastating one nonetheless. Over 60 people were killed and several thousand were injured. 42 of those fatalities happened on the Cypress Street Viaduct on the Nimitz Freeway in Oakland. The upper level of the road collapsed, crushing cars below. It's also estimated that the quake caused over $6 billion in damage. Despite all of this destruction, it could have been much worse. And Bay Area residents may have our national pastime to thank for saving their lives. You see, both teams in the World Series, the Oakland A's and the San Francisco Giants, were from the Bay Area. No place in the country was more invested in the game. The ball game was set to start at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Coast time. That's usually rush hour. But because of the series, many Bay Area baseball fans were already settled in to watch the game and cheer on their teams. That meant they weren't out in the streets or on the roads when the quake hit just after 5 p.m. Thanks, baseball. The World Series finally resumed 10 days later, on October 27th. Several first responders were honored before the game and helped throughout the first pitch. By the way, the Oakland A's swept the series in four games, thanks to two commanding starts by pitcher Dave Stewart and strong offensive performances from Ricky Henderson, Carney Lansford, Dave Henderson, and Jose Canseco. The A's broke with tradition by not celebrating their win with champagne, a solemn nod to those who'd been hurt or killed in the quake. Getting elected president is an expensive business. Campaign costs add up. There are advertisements to make, travel expenses, convention costs, even bumper stickers. But where does all this money come from?